So to no one's surprise, one of the biggest bike market segments is the e-bike category, with e-bike market sales being estimated at $49.7 billion per year. And they actually have a projection of an annual sales of $80 billion per year by 2027. And with many bike brands already flooding the segment, another bike company is now entering, and that's Detroit Bikes. So Detroit Bikes was actually founded in 2011, and it's located, just like the name says, in Detroit, Michigan. But what really separates Detroit Bikes from many other companies is that the chromoly frames, wheels, paint, assembly, and packaging is all done in-house. So Detroit Bikes specializes in commuter bikes, specifically with frames made of chromoly steel. But they also do have aluminum bikes as well. But one segment that they haven't gone into is the electric bike segment. But that's until now with the DBE. So in this video, we're gonna take a closer look of the DBE and check out the specs and see what makes it a little different than its competitors. So now, let's check out the Detroit Bikes DBE. So the DBE is a commuter style e-bike that's built with chromoly steel and it's welded, powder coated, and assembled in Detroit, Michigan. It has hydraulic disc brakes in the front and rear. And Detroit Bikes has a claimed weight of 32 pounds and it comes in a single speed. And it also comes with a belt drive. That's an added benefit because you don't have to lube the belt like you would a regular metal chain. And it weighs roughly 200 grams less than a regular chain as well. And the belt system tend to last about three to four times longer as well. So most of the bike is pretty standard compared to other bikes that Detroit Bikes makes. But the main selling point is the motor, which is a Z-Hiss all-in-one rear hub motor. So what kind of separates the Z-Hiss from other rear hub motors is that the battery and sensors are integrated into the hub itself. So there's no wiring or cables on the bike. So it has a very simple, clean look. The Z-Hiss has a 250 watt motor and it weighs in at 6.6 .6 pounds. And it has four assist modes, no assist, eco, turbo, and turbo custom. The motor provides 40 newton meters of torque and it will provide up to 35 miles of range in eco mode and up to 20 miles in turbo mode. The integrated battery is a 30 volt, 173 watt lithium ion battery that has a 1000 charge life cycle. So there's also a couple of neat little features that I really like about this motor. The first is the active electric lock that locks the hub in place and also provides a GPS signal so that if your bike is stolen, it can be located through GPS. The second feature I really like is that the motor uses an integrated kinetic energy recovery system, also known as KERS. This allows the motor to collect braking energy to recharge the battery. And something just to note though, is that the KERS system is not automatic. It has to be activated through the supplied controller. And that controller allows you to turn the motor on or off, switch power modes, check the state of the battery, and monitor the motor power. And you can also download the Bitride app that acts as a dashboard where you can check your speed, distance, power mode settings, security, activating the electric lock, disabling your bike, contact customer service, and etc. The DBE will be available in March 2023, and it's going to retail for $2,600. So overall, I really like the concept of the DBE bike. I do live in the US, so I appreciate that Detroit Bikes tries to make as much of the bike in-house. And I also really like that the company tries as much as possible to stick to that core value. But with all that being said, I do have some issues with the bike itself. First is the design of the bike is not my cup of tea. And I know that bike looks are subjective. And I'm sure that there are many people who love the way that this bike looks. I'm just not one of them. I really would have liked if they would have used a more modern design. But looks aside, the biggest issue I have with is the price. And even though the z motor system is pretty cool and it does have a lot of features, I think that 2,600 bucks is just way too expensive. And there's too many electric bikes on the market that are under that price with similar features. Now, if Detroit Bikes could have found a way to make this around anywhere between a thousand, fifteen hundred dollar price point, I think it would have been a winner. Now, it could be argued that manufacturing bikes in the US is much more expensive, hence the higher price for the DBE. The only problem with that argument is that it appears that this bike is based off their Cortello model, which at the time it's recording is on sale. But keep in mind, this is for the sale price. So let's just use the example of the retail price of $1,200. That means that adding a rear hub motor adds $1,400 in the price which doesn't seem like a very good deal to me. And for that amount of money, I could have just bought the Cortello model separate and added a rear hub conversion. Or I would have bought something like the Rise Fixie, which is currently $1,000. It has a rear hub motor with more power, a more modern design, better range, and it only weighs two pounds more. So with all that being said, what's your opinion on the new Detroit Bikes DBE? Do you like the idea of the bike or are you interested in buying one? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one.